Hey guys, this is just a current overview. For me, it's about Afghanistan and more about the women. And um, I'm very drained today, I'm not going to lie. And I'm also very judgmental on this. So <laughs> this is going to be, um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a mission to see how this comes out because, um, yeah, I've got some judgmental. I'm terrified for the women there. So first of all, one of the questions I see coming up a lot is the president that left really abruptly. For me, it seems like he could have been paid off, but that's my judgmental side. So, was he offered a bargain? And I actually, do you know what, guys? When I said bargain straight away, that word came through as bargain. So, bargaining with him. I do feel he was paid off. I do feel he was paid off. Now, obviously, he's going to say he left for his life. But it's not like he's leaving for his life and then he's going to come and fight back again. It's not like he left to come back and help, help his people. I just feel he's just been paid off. God, you can see it's a great start with I'm shuffling, guys. But anyway, let's have a look. Was he paid off by the Taliban? Was he paid off by the Taliban? Was he paid off by the Taliban? No idea what was going to come out here. No idea. Let's have a look. Oh, great. P bloody perfect card to pick. Four of Pentacles, hoarding money, wanting money, being very, very materialistic. Um, so basically be given a lot. I mean, this whole card is a guy not wanting to lose money, lose his money. And I feel like in some way he had a fortune behind him. I know nothing about him, I'll be honest, guys. I don't know about the politics behind this guy at all, I'll be honest, right? But it's almost like his assets, I hear, were going to be frozen or taken away from him if he stayed in power. So it's almost like... It wasn't just them offering him money, it's more they were going to take everything off him he ever had. And I feel like he had multiple houses as well here, and property that was going to be seized. Um, I just hear assets. So it's more threatening of his, not more of his, just his life, more about everything he's ever earned and things behind the scenes, behind the scenes money. Can I just do that please? Yeah. So um, being taken away from him. So I hear this is about his assets being threatened, everything being taken away. And in a way, he was more concerned about that in some ways than his life, which is insane. But this is all about money. All about money, him wanting to keep what was already his, I hear. I, I, and I do hear plea bargain. I hear a plea bargain, a plea bargain. So it's almost like, if you leave now, we will not take your assets. You can take everything with you, but you need to leave. And this is why I feel, I mean... Out of every card I bloody picked, I picked the one that's showing him holding on to his money really, really tightly. So it kind of went along with my feelings there about how I felt about that. Let's just pick one more. And again, guys, I mean, the Six of Cups for me always is like your 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 family connections, your past. And, and it's like your family, your home. So obviously, like protecting his family, his assets, his home, what he already has. So everything he already has, okay? All his home, family life, the way he's been living, his existence and riches, I hear. Literally. With that one, protecting it and trying to walk away Scott 3. So the, to the media, it's going to come across as he fled for his life. But obviously he fled for his life, you know. But <laughs> that's not the main reason behind it guys the main reason behind it is money so he can keep his assets so that's the main main thing now obviously in the media you're going to hear like he fled fled for his life and if he did flee flee for his life fair enough but i can't see him coming back i can't see him coming back to really help his people fair enough you flee to another country but you're going to help your people i just don't see him coming back is he going to come back and try and help his people after this i just don't think he is I don't think he is. I think he's holding out for international support here, the star, because the star means to him a wish come true. So it's almost like he's kept all his security, his money, his finances, his properties, everything like that. And it's almost like he's hoping a wish will come true here. I, I do hear reinstated. So he is hoping he will be reinstated because he has strong ties to America, I'm getting here. Um, so he has strong ties there. And I do hear reinstated, so it's almost like he left with all his valuables, and it's almost like a two-way game to satisfy the Taliban, but also to keep satisfying the Americans so they reinstate him if the Taliban leave, which I don't see happening anytime soon. Now, my biggest thing is the women, the women. And I'm not going to go into detail, I mean, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you know what's going on about, you know, I'm not even going to go into it right now, because again, the judgmental side comes from me and the anger and um, the reading is going to be affected. It won't come out properly. <sighs> right. 
the women there want to be able to continue to work, they want to be able to continue their education, and the Taliban said they're going to let them do that. Will they let them do that? I hear an uprising straight away, an uprising, an uprising, and peaceful protests, which for me is the whole point they're going to make is peaceful protesting, and they will, people are going to be um, taken down for this, by the way, like executions and things like this, if they, if they speak out, but they feel in a way, the women, by doing this peacefully, the whole world is going to be against the Taliban and what they're doing there, and it's almost like... Um, they, I, this is so random, guys. I just heard they're going to give them an incentive to stop. So I hear a trade ban as well. I'm not sure the main trade from Afghanistan right now, I'll be honest. But I'm all, it's almost like they were given an, an incentive to, you know, to play along or they will take back over or the world's going to get involved. So it's almost like I hear the Taliban will have to toe the line when it comes to how they treat women. Because there's going to be some things coming out in the next seven, eight months that are so horrendous and horrifying. I feel when it comes to the women there, um, that it's just going to make headlines around the world continuously. And the biggest fear from the Taliban is that they they could, you know, the UK and America may come back and invade again. You know, if if they if they don't toe the line, if they don't toe the line. So let's just see: Are the women going to be okay? First of all, will the women be able study straight away when I get will they be able to study I feel they're going to be threatened and jibed I got the word jibed so on the way to schools and things like that I hear the word jibed so people in the streets um like the soldiers kind of threats soft threats I hear so it's not going to be the, the, the moment they try not to make any um really full-on public demonstrations of torture as such against the women because remember you had, had all, all the in the papers as well about when they were going to invade you know women can still study they can still do this they're going to be able to do that because they don't want an invasion they want to take over and ground their roots first okay they want to you know they, they don't want anyone to get involved right now so I, again i hear they're going to toe the line for now for now but there's going to be threats behind the scenes and i do feel like people going to work people especially studying of a certain age um comments about stuff like they should be married off by now that kind of thing okay Okay, will the women be able to continue their studies? Oh my God, guys, I did not expect this card at all. I did not expect this card at all. <clears throat> we have the sun, which is happy news, good times, joy, happiness. Now, okay, let's not, again, I'm judgmental. I'm not saying this is all going to be like ecstatic happiness here, but that's an amazing sign when it comes to studying, amazing sign that they will be able to continue their studies, okay? So I do feel there they're going to win out. I hear, and I hear the word national outcry, and I hear the words freedom, um, freedom for education as well. So it's literally like everyone around the world is going to get involved when when they see them trying to stop people from, um, you know, going to school and things like that, or universities, anything like that. There's going to be a national outcry, and I think it's going to be the women again. Peaceful protest in the media that will come out. Some shocking scenes. And they're going to the Taliban will be worried. Everyone's going to get involved again, and they will have to again toe the line. And for me, this does mean travel, guys. And I do feel, I do feel they're still going to be able to study. I do feel as well, um, for me, this is international travel. So a lot of universities in America, UK, um, other places in the world are going to open up universities to allow the women to study there, literally, so they can literally escape and study where they want to without harassment. Because there is going to be harassment. There is going to be harassment. They may not stop them completely from going to study, but there's harassment there. So I hear the world opening up the doors for education for the women there. For the women there. And again, guys, I'm so happy we got this card now. This is so, I'm so pleased we just got this card. The Nine of Wands means after a very long and hard battle, they will get through it. They will win out. This is tired, exhaustion, fatigue. They've gone, gone through such a battle, beaten up, wounded, okay? But this card always means they're going to get out of it. They will work through this and they will make it out of this. And again, I just feel a lot of younger women coming up, maybe um, a lot of early 20s, kind of uni students that are more worldly, um, educated as such, that are going to be the, the main ones that are going to be seen in the media speaking out. I mean, and it's going to be some kind of shocking displays as well. 
that it's going to there's going to be a couple of scenes that are really going to shock the world so I, I hear you've seen nothing yet but in a way that's going to work for them it's going to be almost like in the in a way some of the women are going to be martyrs this time is in dying for their cause and it's turning the, i hear turning the tables turning the tables on the men so it's almost like dying for the freedom for education and the right to be a woman and the freedom to not to marry if you don't want to it's almost like the women being martyrs one or two are going to be martyrs and it's going to make headlines around the world and again, Taliban will have to toe the line. Great card as well, guys, when it comes to finances here, because to me, the Ten of Pentacles is speaking about they will still be able to go and work and keep their careers. Ten of Pentacles. But I still hear the words soft threats. So bloody random. Soft threats. So I feel even if they try and toe the, the Taliban toe the line for the media, um, so, not, so it won't be a national outcry, because there's still, there's still concern that if they really, really, really push it, we're just going to come back in there. We're just going to come back in there. Um, so I hear there will still be soft threats and I feel for that reason a lot of the women there will choose if they can to get out the country to study in other places and there's going to be a lot of scholarships opening up for women in Afghanistan to, to leave, to leave, to get out, to get out, that's a way out for them. So yeah, I do see a way out for them. And even better guys, four of swords means healing for the women there, healing healing reprieve like after a long hard battle rest rest recuperation so i still feel it's going to be oh, i'm still waiting to see some something you know some of the things we're going to see in the media but i do feel in a way the taliban will will be forced to toe the line they will be forced to toe the line which i know my views on them from the past being 40 years old and seeing everything they've done so um yeah Let's see how that works out. Let's just send all our prayers to them over there. And I just think they're incredibly, just incredibly brave. I just feel like they've been like, okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop. I just wonder, where's the men protecting them? You know, I just don't want them to be left behind. So yeah, anyway, quite an emotional reading. Incredible emotional reading. And my thoughts are with them all. All right, love and light to you guys.